What's up, freaks? It's Steve from Big Physique Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing, and we are here getting set up to go with a live boxing, kickboxing session. Now, if you have boxing gloves, you can put them on. If you don't, that's fine. If you have no equipment, it does not matter. You could just be punching the air. And just to, to show and even pretty much prove and show to myself the workout you can get just from hitting the air, I'm gonna be going in the air the entire time. My little man Tyson's gonna be back here on the heavy bag the entire time. It's gonna be a crazy cardio session. Lots of footwork, lots of movement with your legs going into punches. So if you have gloves, you can put them on, get your hands wrapped up, you have a bag, even better. If not, you could just be punching the air, you're still gonna get a crazy sick workout. I've been doing just the air sessions for the last three weeks and my body is tighter and more toned and more freaking sore than it's been in a long time. So it just goes to show, you don't need a ton of stuff, you don't need a ton of equipment to do these workouts. It's even a boxing, kickboxing workout where you would think that it's just gonna be laying punching the air. Now, now, I must put this out there that it's up to you to put out. It's up to you to go full speed and full intensity on these, these com punching combinations. Because if you're just going through the motions, punching the air, then yes, you'll get nothing out of it. You go through motions doing anything. Whether you have a heavy bag or the most, you got the most fancy, expensive equipment in the world, if you're going through the motions, you're gonna get nothing out of it. You're gonna get jack shit out of it. So, you need to take this serious, go all out on these punching combinations. Put some intensity into it. As we're going along, if you have any questions, comments, put them in there. I'll try to keep up to date with what's going on there. It's going to be a lot of movement today, so whatever amount of space you have, let's say you're going to be punching here, you're going to be doing some moving and shuffling back and forth to your punching location. So whatever you have space, take this minute here before we get started to clear out a little space for you. I'm going to be, for the most part, coming in on this angle on you. Tyson's going to be back here going in, showing on the heavy bag how it can be done, and we're going to make it happen. So we will go through a full warm-up to get your upper, your lower, all ready, all ready to rock and roll. We are going to kill it. I need you to beat the crap out of the air today. We're going to be punching crazy, lots of footwork, lots of movement, lots of sweat, lots of hard work, lots of freaking intensity. That's what I'm going to need from you. So we're going to get rolling. We're going to go through our basic punches. First, before we even do that, I want to get you into your basic stance. If you're right-handed, your left leg is going to be forward, your right leg is going to be back. That's if you're right-handed. Don't forget, Facebook shows this as a mirror, so look at me as I'm just an ugly, bald version that you're looking in the mirror. So this is my left hand, this is my right hand, just so you're clear on that. So we're going to start with just our footwork. If I'm moving forward, this foot's going to move first, and then my right foot's going to close the distance. If I'm moving back, my back foot's gonna move first. So my feet are never closer together than this stance. So you can see when I'm moving here, trying not to go off the screen, that whatever direction I move, that foot's moving first. So if I'm here, I'm going to the left. My left foot moves first, and my right foot gets back to where I started. My feet do not crisscross like this. They don't ever come close together and touch, because then I'll be off balance. You're always maintaining that stance. You're just coming wider than your stance, and then back to your stance. So if I'm going forward, if I'm going back, no matter where I'm going, if I'm circling around, pivoting, no matter where it is, they're never closer together than that basic stance. So that's the first thing. So we're going to practice right now just your one, your straight left, and your two. I just want you to throw a one, two, but then I want you moving around in between, maintaining that stance. I want you circling around, one, two, move around, move. One, two, right down the middle. On the one is a straight left, the two is a straight right. You're going to pivot this right foot. Let your right hip turn. Boom. So it's a pop and a boom right there. I want you moving around. Just two punches at a time. Move around. Light, smooth, flowing. Not non-stop punching. You see I'm just getting into the rhythm. Hands are up. Some head work. Some leg work. Just two at a time. It's all about movement today. Move around. Bounce around. Flow. Rhythm. We all have some rhythm. Somewhere deep inside those bones. I need you to dig in and find that freaking rhythm. So just move around. Just go one, two. And move, flow. Already you should feel your calves and your feet already getting some blood flowing. Get it freaking warmed up. Right down the middle. Moving, bouncing, circling, shuffling. You just trying to punch me, boy? We can do this. We can do this. I don't want no part of that. Right down the middle. And time. Let's get all same quad chests real quick. You do want to get those legs stretched out. We're going to be doing a ton of, 50% of what you're doing today is going to be footwork, moving on your legs. So it's all same quad stretch right here. Nice. Deep quad stretch, bring the heel to your glute, stretching the front of your legs. Hold it for one to three seconds each side. That's all you need to do. 
Stretching it out. All right, our three is our left hook. Our four is our right hook. Whatever hand's not punching is up at your chin. So we're just gonna go three, four, that same game with the footwork. So that's when you do bouncing, flowing, moving around. Three, four, move around. Pivot those feet, look at these feet, and hips. Three, four, your hip and foot need to turn. Hip, toe, and knee, all go, like a door swinging on a hinge. That's why I need you to throw these punches, so it's just a three, four, move around, flow, rhythm, all over the place. When it's time to punch on these, you gotta plant your feet and then dig in, bam, bam, and then get back on your horse, moving around. Three, four, light, smooth. I need some footwork, I need some movement, I need some rhythm. Boom, boom, three, four. So elbows bent 90 degrees, moving parallel to the floor while you pivot this left foot, three. Then other side, pivot, turn the hip while your opposite hand comes up, protecting that ugly mug. Let's do it, three, four. All right, let's go with some shoulder stretches. Fling it open and stretch your shoulder. Hold it for one to three seconds. Fling it, stretch the other side. Fling it and stretch and hold. Just get the entire body warmed up, loosened up. A couple more times each. Stretch it, fling it, hold it, stretch the shoulder. So we did our one, two already. We did our three, four. Now we're gonna do our uppercuts. Five, left uppercut, six, right up. Think about coming right underneath the chin. Boom. Five, six. Same game as the footwork. I want you moving, moving, flow, just loose. Loose, flow, little rhythm, little flow, boom, boom. Five, six. Five, six. Movement, movement. I need you moving around. Light. While your hands are down, don't move around with your hands down here. You should be on the balls of your feet. Your heel should be up off the floor the entire time. You should always be able to slide a credit card underneath that heel. That's how much it should be elevated. Five, six. Left upper, right upper. Move around. Flow. Rhythm. What kind of, uh, what is that? That's not the best. Oh, whatever you do. Maybe. Think about doing. How about that? Punch back. Five, six. Crunch, crunch. We're just getting the blood flowing. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Let's go with knee hugs. Just getting those hips loosened up. Pull the knee up to the chest. Hold it for one to three seconds each one. Right up to your chest. You should already be getting your heart rate up a little bit. Body temperature up a little bit. Your joints should be loosening up a little bit. Let's go with some forward shoulder circles while you're moving your feet. Forward shoulder circles. And then someone backhands you and hits you, punch the back. And backward shoulder circles. Ow! Backward shoulder circles while your feet are still moving. All right, we're gonna go reverse all those now. Again, I told you we're doing a lot of footwork today, so make the most of this footwork is half of the work today. Is moving around. You can see there should be intensity in your footwork. You should be moving quick with a sense of urgency, moving with some purpose. So now we're gonna do the opposite of those combos. We're just gonna go with a two, one right now. So that's a straight right, straight left. Just more around our basic stance. Stopping for a two, one. Pivot, move, shuffle. Use all the floor space you have. Move around the house. Knock some things over, put some holes in the walls. Boom, boom, right down the middle. Hands up. Two, one, that's a straight right, straight left. So on that straight right, you're pivoting, turning. That means you should get a good wind up into, bam, into that straight left. Move around, boom, boom. Light on your feet, flow, rhythm. Want a lot of work in your legs. There should be more work in your legs today than in your arms. With all this footwork we're gonna be doing, this is still just getting your blood flowing, still just the warm up. Two, one, right here. Now keep rolling, we're switching to the four, three. Four is your right hook, three is your left hook. Pivot those feet, elbow up and out, four, three. Moving around. Oh, I almost got knocked out. You ain't me, boy. I don't want no part of it. Move around, plant your feet. Four, three. Bounce, flow, rhythm, rhythm, move, boom, boom, yes. Elbows up and out. Four, three, move. We need footwork in between each one. So you should not be standing still 
for two combos in a row. If you're here for one combo, you should be way over here for the next one. Boom, boom. Then over here, facing another direction. Boom, boom. We're moving. Energy, flowing. Little bounce. Little rhythm. Boom, boom. Four, three. Elbows up and out. Some footwork, some head movements. Your legs should already be working. They should be feeling it already. From all this movement. Boom. Four, three. And now switch to the six, five. Six is our right uppercut. Five is our left uppercut. Let's roll. Six, five. Boom. Move around. Not staying in one place. Move. Bounce. Close. Rhythm. Around the house. Bam, bam. Six, five. Right upper, left upper. Six, five. Pivot out. Footwork. Dig them in. Crunch in. Crunch that uppercut. Coming up. So palms start facing in. They end up facing up. Coming underneath the chin. Boom. Six, five. Time. Shake it out. Shake it, shake it. Find somewhere to put your toes up against. You're going to stretch out your calves. So you can see the edge of this bag. A wall. Whatever. Anywhere you can put your toes against. And stretch your calves. You can do it with your legs straight. You can bend your knee. Get a lower part of your calves. More towards your Achilles. But just put those toes up there. Stretch your feet. Stretch your calves. You're going to want to do this. Or else they're going to cramp up on you. Because that movement we just did was the most basic of the movements we're going to do. That boxing movement. It was very specific. It was very technical. But we're going to be doing exercises as our movement. So we're going to go next. Just to a side shuffle. So let's... Pretend you had a bag. Now you are going to strike in the same location every time. So right here would be my strike. And we're going to start with those same two, same combos. We're going to start with just a one, two, real simple. I'm going to side shuffle away from my target as far as I can. Come back in, one, two. I'm going to side shuffle away. So see how Tyson does it back there. He's going to side shuffle away. Each time he's going to face a different direction. And then you just got to get back into your stance. So you're going to be here, side shuffle, come in, one, two, I'm going to switch directions. So here we're not thinking about that boxing stance, it's just a regular side shuffle here that you're going in and out, so you're sideways to your target. So I'm here, and I need to get in my stance, one, two, I'm going to side shuffle out, side shuffle back in, one, two, and I'm going to turn the other way, side shuffle out, side shuffle back in, one, two, keep changing directions. Shit, I'm getting dizzy already, one, two, shuffle out. Right down the middle. You can see he's hitting his one, two. Shuffling, facing one way. Shuffle out. Nope, face that same way for the shuffle. Shuffle back in. Now face the other way, shuffle out and in. Right there, shuffle out. Stay facing that same way. Get to your stance, one, two, boom. We're just like that. Just like that. So you're hitting your combo right now. Real simple, it's just a one, two. Our forward, just shuffling out. Shuffle back in. Get your stance, one, two. Change directions. So I'm doing a side lateral shuffle here. Get back into my stance. Boom, boom. So it's lots of footwork, lots of pivoting, rotating, switching, changing directions. This is what we want. Showing off those break dancing moves. Put both right down the middle. Shuffle out. Shuffle back in. One, two. Turn. Shuffle out. Shuffle back in. Back to your stance. One, two. So you're constantly pivoting. When you're moving, when you're shuffling, those hands need to be up. I need those feet moving nonstop. One, two, right down the middle. Switch. Switch directions each time. Right down the middle. If you end up doing the same direction twice in a row, who cares? Just keep moving. If you miss up the direction, you turn at the wrong time. Who cares? Who cares? Just keep moving. Get in there. Get your punch in. Your one, two. Let's see Tyson doing that. The full range on the bag. So he's hitting his combo, shuffling out to the side. Hit the combo, shuffling out to the other side. Combo, boom, boom. And time. We're going to keep that same footwork. So that same side shuffle, except now we're going to our three, four. Same footwork, new combo. So we're shuffling out, keeping this going, because you're just getting the flow. Three, four. Change direction, shuffle out. Whatever space you have. Find some space. Move some shit around in your house. Move the refrigerator. Move the couch. 
Move all that junk that's in your house out of the way so we can get our boxing on. So we can get our footwork on. We can kill some fat. That's what we're doing. Killing some freaking fat. Get in that stance. Three, four. Shuffle. Other direction. Back in. Twist your stance. Boom, boom. Shuffle. Hands are up while you're shuffling. Three, four. Turn. Pivot. And boom, boom. So again, look at the feet. Keep shuffling while you're listening. Pivot that left foot. Pivot the right foot. Whatever hand's punching, the other hand stays your chin. Boom. Three, four. Shift out. Pivot and bam, bam. Shuffle. And boom, boom. Three, four. Change direction. Get in that stance. Bam, bam. We are moving. Should already start to break a sweat. I am. Three, four. Left hook. Right hook, and time. One more with that same footwork, because now I can tell you're starting to get into that flow. When you get that, we're going now with our five, six. Five, six. Left upper, right upper. Same shuffle, same footwork. Shuffle out. Shuffle back in. Upper, upper. Switch direction. Lots going on here. Your body's moving. You're thinking. You're having to react. You're having to get your balance. Five, six. Twist and turn. Back in. Boom, boom. Five, six. Keep moving. You can see Tyson there in the back. Hitting his combo. Shuffling out, facing one direction. In, facing that same way. Get to the stance. Just face the other way. Back in. Boom, boom. Five, six, our combo. Five, six. Don't forget our left upper, right upper. Left upper cut, right upper cut. Get that waist. The obliques, the lats into it. The legs are throwing the punches. Five, six. Left upper, right upper. Boom, boom. There it is, there it is. Keep moving. Keep shuffling. I want those legs on fire. Bam, bam. Switch directions. And boom, boom. I need some attention. You're punching the air with me. It needs to be bam, bam. Full speed on those punches. Breathe. Back in, get to that stance. Boom, boom. Hands up. Change directions. Time. All right, we're going to change up our footwork now. So that side shuffle is done for now. Changing up our footwork and our combo. Our combo now is going to be real simple. Two, one. Reverse what we just did. Straight right, straight left. So turn, snap into that, to that one. Our footwork is going to be a forward and backward jumping jack. So your feet are in, are in place. You're doing a regular jack. See, I'm just drifting backwards. Whatever space I have back into my wherever my imaginary target is, and I'm gonna hit a two, one. Jack back, jack forward, two, one. Just smooth, light, short, choppy, jacks. All the way away from your bag, boom, boom. Told you it was all about footwork today. Told your legs are gonna be on fire, we're gonna be burning. More than 50% of this work is gonna be through your legs today. And get, so look, when I'm jumping in, keep moving while I'm talking, don't stop, stop moving, just come talking. I'm jumping in side to side, right? When I get here, I don't want to be punching with my feet like this. So those last couple steps, get hop into my stance, so I can go with a two and a one. Jack it out, jack it forward, stance, two, one, and get out. Jacks, drifting forward, drifting back. Let's see Tyson back there doing it. See, he's jacking backwards, jacking forward, getting to his stance, and a straight right, straight left. Jacking away from the bag, jacking towards the bag, straight right, straight left. That's a 2 1. Oh, yeah, your feet should be on fire. Your calves should be ready to explode. Stance, 2 1. Jacking back, jacking forward. All that work for two punches. Make them count. I need them to be. Boom, boom! Strong, vicious, violent punches. Hands up while you're jacking. Straight punches. Straight right, straight left. Breathe it out. Two, one. Two, one. Right, down, the middle. Hands are up while you're jacking. Boom, boom. 
Who's following along with me? Who's following along with me? Next breather. Next breather. Keep moving, keep moving. The next breather, I want you to write in there. Where are you following along from? Where are you from and where are you following along from? Kicking ass, kicking the air ass, kicking the bags ass. Keep jacking forward, bam, bam, right down the middle. It only takes a few jacks, whatever. Three, four, five, six jacks, straight right, straight left, time. All right, we're gonna keep that exercise the same. Whenever you have this split second in between while I'm battling about what's coming next, use that time to stretch your calves out. Find somewhere to stretch your calves. Stretch your feet. Get them ready, because you know we got jacks still coming up. We're switching our combo to a four, three, still with the jacks going backwards and forwards. Who's following along here? Who's kicking ass with me? Give me, send me a quick message that you're following us. Send me a quick message that you're following us before we get started with this round. That you're following, you're kicking ass, and where are you following this workout from? Let's do it, we're getting set up. So again, don't forget, it's four, three, with jacking out. Going in three, two, one, boom, let's roll. Jacking out, jack forward, stance, four, three. Jump back, jack forward, four, three. Moving forward, breathe, breathe on those. Breathe in your punches, breathe in your jacks, control your breathing, control your energy. Four, three. Right hook, left hook, don't forget, hit those feet. Elbows bent. Hooks are bent 90 degrees, moving parallel to the floor with the other hand up. So you're just on a four, three. Right hook, left hook. Dig, turn them in, boom, boom. Let's see Tyson doing it in the back there. He's jacking forward, getting to his stance. Four, three, jacking back. Getting back into his stance. And boom, boom, right there, there it is. We are moving. Bam, bam, four, three. Hands are up, landing your feet, bouncing your step. Yeah, boom, boom. Get those abs into it. Get the obliques into it. Keep the hands up. Right hook, left hook. Bouncing your step. Light on your feet. Keep it rolling. And boom, boom, four, three. Oh yeah, those feet are gonna be on fire. Fire! Those calves are ready to burst. If you're doing it right, if you're not half ass, and I know you're not half ass, it's because we don't half ass anything. Go all out. Bring the freaking fire every second of every second. Four, three, and time. We're gonna keep it rolling. We got one more time with the jacks for our six, five to finish off this segment. So still with the jacks moving back and forward. Six is our right uppercut. Five is our left uppercut. Six, five, going in three, two, one, and boom, let's see it. Let's see it. Bouncing your step. We're barely just getting warmed up. Six, five, just getting started here. Free boxing, kickboxing, cardio workout. Bouncing your step. Get into that stance every time, and bam, bam, six, five, keep those hands up in the guard while you're bouncing out. Just because I can't see you, doesn't mean I can't see you. The universe knows if you're bullshitting at home. I need you to pick up the pace. I need you to go all out. If you're not already dripping sweat like I am, if your feet are already not on fire like mine are, you're doing something wrong and you're bullshitting. You need to pick it up. Six, five. Bouncing your step. Hands are up. Jack forwards. And right upper, left upper. Full speed punches. Oh yeah, feeling good. Boom, boom. Doesn't matter, you're locked in the house. That is not an excuse to be lazy. That's not an excuse to be negative, to be down, to be depressed, to lose motivation. That's an excuse to do more, to kill more. Kill more fat, kill more fear, kill more anxiety, kill more procrastination, kill your, the wasted time you've been doing. You're always been saying you don't have time for this and that. You got more time now than ever. Even with homeschooling, or whatever else you have to do, there is more time now than ever. So if you've been using that as your excuse for all these years, 
and you don't come out on the other end of this quarantine like a thousand times more advanced than you were before, it just shows that you have a bullshitting problem. You have a laziness problem. You need to pick it up. You have a discipline problem. Six, five. We need you to push. We need you to go all out. We need you to stop making excuses. Bang away. Six, five. Stuck in the house. This is your chance to get smarter than ever. This is your chance to get more skilled than ever. This is your chance to get in the best shape of your life than ever. I know that's what I'm using this time for. And that's what you should be also. Six, five, and five. Our next combo is going to be a one, two, three. Pay attention. One, two, three. Straight left, straight right, left toe. We're keeping these simple, the combos, because you have so much footwork going on in between. What you're going to do is bear crawl away from your target, bear crawl back. So you're going to bear crawl away from my target, bear crawl back. Come up, one, two, three. Show it back there, Tyson. Bear crawling away. You're staying down, looping it around, bear crawling back. One, two, three. Straight left, straight right, left hook. Find your space, find your way. One, two, three. Bear crawl, get up, get into that stance. Make those punches count. Make that one, two, three count. It needs to be violent, it needs to be vicious, it needs to be hard. Intensity is what we need. Bring the freaking fire! Oh yeah. Get down there, strong abs. Strong shoulders, weights evenly distributed on your arms and legs. So you can see he's using his arms and legs. Opposite arm is moving with the opposite leg when he's moving that bear crawl. His spine is parallel to the floor. So back is flat, not hips up in the air. Spine parallel to the floor, opposite arm moving with the opposite leg. Whatever space you have, Make it happen. I don't want to hear that you don't have a dedicated exercise space. I don't want to hear you don't have a home gym. I'm here in two feet of space in a garage. There's no reason you can't. You can do this workout in an empty freaking elevator and get in the best shape of your life. Guaranteed. Because it's all about E and A. Your effort and your attitude. That's all you need. You don't need any equipment. You don't need any, any fancy stuff. E and A, effort and attitude, all you need. And that goes for anything in life. So how much effort are you gonna put in? Maximum freaking effort. Let Deadpool, maximum effort. And a positive attitude. That shit is free. It's free. You can't buy it. It doesn't cost anything, it's not expensive. Maximum effort, positive attitude, that's it. Nothing more is needed for success in life. No excuses, no blaming other people, no complaining, freaking effort and attitude, that's it. Got me all fired up and I'm making this bear crawl around last forever. Time. All right, next combo. Who's following the trend? What's the next combo going to be? Four, five, I don't see you. six. What's the next combo going to be? Four, five, six, bear crawl. Look at that. He's got it. And he's never done this workout before. This workout has never been done before. Probably will never be done again because we're doing it. We have a complete different workout every single time. How come this number up here tells me live viewers? It shows me a number, but then it shows a lot different number of people down here. And I noticed during that bear crawl round, we went from about 20 people watching live down to about five. So I hope you didn't punk out. I hope you weren't quitting. We are not quitting. That is not the effort attitude we're talking about. I should see you going all out here. I should feel your energy oozing through the freaking internet. So we got bear crawl, and then we got four. That's a right hook. Five, left uppercut. Six, right uppercut. Four, five, six. 
with your bear crawl. So bear crawl away from your target. Bear crawl away, loop it around, bear crawl back. Get your stance, four, five, six. You should be working. You should be out of breath. You should be sweaty. When you're in this bear crawl, shh, shh, shh. sweat should be dripping. Pour it off your head right now if you're doing this the right way. If you're working with the intensity that you should be, it should be pouring off your head. Tyson, what kind of effort do we need? Maximum. Maximum effort. What kind of attitude do we need? Maximum effort. What kind of attitude do we need? Positive. Positive attitude. He just wanted to read the screen. Little freak show. He thought I meant to say it louder. And he was showing you the positive attitude by answering about the maximum effort. Giving maximum effort and giving positive attitude immediately just by showing some more intensity. I don't even know the combo anymore. Four, five, six. Because you got me all fired up. As long as you're moving, do what you got to do. Modify if you need to. You know what you can and can't do. Four, five, six is our combo. Four is our right hook. Five is our left upper. Six is our right upper. Keep moving. Bear crawl away. I just realized as I'm bear crawling away, my ass crack is right on that camera. So I apologize. I'm not your refrigerator repair man. And get up. Boom, boom, boom. Four, five, six. Keep it moving. Keep it flowing. Push it. Push yourself. Get up. And boom, boom, boom. Time! All right, we are rolling. We are cruising. Give me a quick comment if you're still following us. If you haven't quit on this workout, give me a quick thumbs up. Give me a quick comment if you have not quit this workout yet. If you're still rolling with us, because we are just getting started. We are nowhere near the end. Just barely getting the sweat going on this workout. Shake it out, our next combo. Simple stuff, we're just making it four punch combos. All we're doing, one, two, three, four. Easy stuff, we're intentionally keeping this simple because you have so much other stuff going on. So you're just on one, two, three, four. That's straight left, straight right, left hook, right hook. One, two, three, four. Turn those hips. The way you're gonna get away from your bag is gonna be a split jab. So you're gonna go sideways. So I'm facing this way, look at my feet. Front to back jacks, getting away from the bag. When I get back to my bag, plant my feet. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go the other way for my split jacks. Split jack back. Yeah, 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 you two just watch me because you don't know any of this stuff. Just stand there watch me. You're gonna burn a lot of calories just watching me do it. Ava Marie watch, is, is rolling with us. She didn't give up, of course not. Hardcore peak freak. Front to back jacks, get in there. Whisk it into your stance, and one, two, three, four. Split jack to your right, the other direction. While you're bouncing here, there should be sweat puddles just shooting off your eyebrow. I feel them splashing my eyebrow, going into my mouth, inhaling them. I like it. Split jack away. On the balls of your feet, look, if you need to modify this jack, you could just tap it backwards as you're walking backwards. Tap it back as you walk forward. Always way to modify. Modify before you stop. Quit before, die before you quit. Always modification to everything. Get in that stance. One, two, three, four. Split jack away the other way. Front to the back of the feet. Bounce in your step. One, two, three, four. Bounce it away. Stands at the end, always get back into that stance. Full speed on those punches, change directions. Right on your feet, bounce your step. Non-stop movement. Non-stop intensity, non-stop energy. 
Down from your step. And one, two, three, four, bam! Keep it rolling! We are cruising along. Get to that stand, straight, straight, hook, hook. Again, the combo is your straight left, straight right, pivot that right foot. Left hook, pivoting this left foot, I'll back up some. And right hook to pivot that. Got Facebook up there, Instagram down here. Again, it's one, two, three, four. I know there's a lot going on in between, but I still need you to focus on your technique on those punches. Front to back jacks, lateral shuffle, going away. Get your stance straight, straight, hook, hook. Change directions. Split jack the other way. Straight, straight, hook, hook. Let's see Tyson doing it. He's facing the same way for both. Get in there, get to the stance. Now he's gonna face the other way. Staying there, coming right back in. And bam, 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 bam. And listen, if you miss, if you go the same direction, you switch from the sound, get here, I get the end, and I turn around on accident because I'm just, whatever. Doesn't matter, keep freaking moving. Get in here and bam, 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 make those punches count. You're doing so much work to get in position to throw your punch. Make the punches count. Split jacks away. Front to back of the feet. On the balls of your feet. In your stance, straight, straight, hook, hook. Bouncing. We're flowing. We're rolling. Let those hands fly. Let them fly. Ha! Yeah! Bounce it away. Hands are up. You are not dripping sweat. You are not pushing hard enough. You are not punching hard enough. I need you to pick it up. I need you to pick it up! Stance and boom, 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 boom. Time! So you know we're going to repeat that footwork. Now listen, if you're not out of breath, if you're not sweating and dripping sweat, I need you to step up the pace. I need you to pick it up, because you should be. You should be out of breath. Your legs should be pumped. Your calves should be balled up, tight, feeling freaking good. Next combo is just gonna be three, four, five, six. That's left hook, right hook, left upper, right upper. Get that waist into it. Tons of core, oblique, abs, lats, hips. Hip movement, shifting of your weight. And we're staying with that same footwork for another round. So it's three, four, five, six. Front to back jack, going in three, two, one, and rolling. Front to back with the feet. Split jack. As I'm snorting in my own sweat, dripping off my forehead. Three, four, five, six. Hook, hook, upper, upper. Don't forget to change directions after each time. Head back in. Get back to your stance. Split jacks. Hands up. Three, four, five, six. Bounce your step. Breathe it out. Light on your feet. Flowing. Rolling, get your target, get your stance, and throw bombs. Three, four, five, six. That's left hook, right hook, left upper, right upper. Hook, hook, upper, upper. Let's see the feet from back here. Left, right, left, right. Three, four, five, six. With a split jack. With a bounce in your step. Light on your feet. Change directions. Oh yeah. How are we feeling, Tice? Good! Yeah! The only answer is, how are you doing? The only answer is, good, great, awesome, freaking amazing. I'm doing fucking awesome. That is it. That's all you're feeling. Run to the back jacks. Get in there and boom, 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 all out. Full speed, full intensity. 
You should be soaking wet, out of breath, full of energy, punch in the air. Get those hands up while you're shuffling. Three, four, five, six. Time. All right. We're going to stick with, go up to a five punch combo. It's going to be all straights. It's going to be a one, two, one, one, two. So it's one, it should sound like this. One, two, one, one, two. One, two, one, one, two. Left, right, left, left, right. It's all straights. They know it. Let's see it. One, two, one, one, two. Right down the middle. Your shuffle is going to be a crab walk. We already finished that front to back shuffle. So you're crab walking away from your bag. You're down here. Crab walking. Loop it around. Turn around. Crab walk back. Get up. One, two, one. One, two. Crab walk to one, two, one, one, two. Let's see it. You can see he's going backwards. Weight is evenly distributed. Get up, turn, get into your stance. One, two, one. One, two. Straight punches. Crab walking away. So you're going backwards here. Opposite arm going opposite leg. You're spinning around, looping around. Work with what you got. Get up, spin, show up those break dancing moves. Back to your stance. One, two, one. One, two. And crab walk it out. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Keep it safe on your wrists, on your shoulders. Your hips should be down. Spin out, hop to your feet. Let's see the combo. It's a one, two, one. One, two, left, straight left, straight right, straight left, left, right. That middle part, those double ones, don't just pull your hand out there. It should be one, two, one. After that one, don't just pull the second one out there. It should be coming all the way back to your chin. So if I do 10 jabs in a row, 10 ones in a row, look at my hand. It's going to always come back here, so it's not just going to stay out here and pull it out there. Make sure you're bringing it back. One, two, one, one, two. One, two, one, one, two. And then crab walk away. What's up down there, Instagrams? Huh. Crab walk away. Loop it. Spin it out. One, two, one, one, two. Keep it moving. Look at Tyson's technique down there. Cruising. Grab walking away, spin it around, loop it around, do what you got to do. One, two, one, one, two, straight strong shots, keep it rolling, you're right back down on the floor, oh yeah, stabilize those shoulders, working those tries, the core, the legs getting up and down, one, two, one, one, two, time. Oh yeah. So I want to stick with that combo for another round, but I want you to flow a little bit better. So we're going to go back to our original boxing footwork. So I want you shuffling back in your boxing stance, shuffle forward right into the one, two, one, one, two. I want you flowing into it. So we can get a little speed on this. Just because this is a real quick, fast, sharp combo, and that crab walk made us slow down. So now I want you to go for speed here. So maintain that stance the whole time. Shuffle in, one, two, one, one, two. Shuffle out, we started, and go. Hands up, shuffle out, shuffle back in. Don't forget that stance, so watch my feet. Whatever direction I'm moving in, my back foot goes first, back to my stance. I'm gonna go in slow motion just to show you. When I'm moving forward, my front foot, this is my left side. Left foot goes first, right foot goes the distance, back to my regular stance. I'm on the balls of my feet. So back for those, no matter how fast I go. Right at that combo, I finished it too and I pivoted, right? That foot is still gonna step back first. So even after a pivot, I gotta readjust and recenter myself. So that left foot goes back first. One, two, one, one, two. Shuffle out, shuffle in. One, two, one, one, two. Shuffle out. After that two, that two, I gotta still step with that right leg first. Takes a lot of shifting of your hips. Let's see Tyson in action back there on the bag. 
One, two, one, one, two. Look at that, straight, sharp shots. He's zipping out, zipping back in. All straight punches. Pivoting on those twos, that right foot needs to pivot. Keeping that left hand up. Turn that, that palm, start facing in, ends up. So you're pouring something out of the cup, corkscrew it, boom! While you're turning that hip. Shuffle out, shuffle in, one, two, one, one, two. Shuffle out, whoa! Shuffle back out, we're rolling. Two more times, two more! Keep rolling. Our next combo. All six punches together. It's gonna be just a one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six. We start with two punch combos. We went up to three punch combos, to four punch combo, to five punch combo. Now we're up to six punch combo. It's just a one, two, three, four, five, six. Our footwork is gonna be butt kick, lateral shuffle. So we're kicking our heels back, butt kick, while we're moving away from the bag. And then butt kicking to get back, get in your stance for a one, two, three, four, five, six. So one is a straight left, two is a straight right, three is a left hook, four is a right hook, five is a left uppercut, six is your right uppercut. Put them together, one, two, three, four, five, six, Shuffle out, shuffle back in. Shuffle out, shuffle in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it rolling. Shuffle out, land on your feet. You should be doing that butt kick shuffle. I'm showing sure regular boxing shuffle, but it should be butt kick shuffle here. To the side. Butt kick out, butt kick back in, butt kick. If you can't do butt kicks, just do a regular shuffle. Or you can do a modified, just kick your heel to your butt while you're stepping to the side, if you have to do. There's always a way to modify. Butt kick, lateral shuffle, butt kick, back in to your stance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get those abs into it. Get the obliques into it. Get your waist into it. Get your whole core. 360 degrees, front to back, includes your hips, your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I almost forgot to say to change direction of when you're going out. So now I'm going out to the left and into the right. Turn to get in my stance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get a couple this way because I was doing all the other directions. Just to even it out. On the balls of your feet. Bounce in your step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze those hamstrings to get those heels through glutes. Butt kickers, turn your body. On these punches, heel back, bouncing your step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Butt kicks out. Time. So we're gonna stick with the combo. So I wanna get some more work on that one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the long combo. And we're gonna go back to the bear crawl. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Bear crawl out. Bear crawl back in. Hit your combo again. Going in three, two, one. And boom, let's do it. Bear crawl out. Loop it around. Bear crawl back in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lots of work going on. You're working your whole body here. Full body workout. Upper, lower, strength, cardio, conditioning, core, coordination, balance. Mentally, physically, burning fat, endurance. A little bit of everything. So again, the combo. It's a one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. There it is. Hips down. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it rolling. Yeah, the legs should feel good. Getting up and down like this. Oh yeah. Keep moving. Keep rolling. We're not done. You got a long way to go. Still got a lot to do. Let's roll. Oh yeah, legs are feeling good. You know, how's the legs feel, Tyson? Awesome! Yes! It's the only way to feel. Awesome and amazing. You keep rolling. And I want to tell you, when the question comes, how you doing, how you feeling, and you're doing something like this, where you're training, and it's hard, and you're suffering, I don't want to hear, oh, I feel like shit. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I feel like I got run over by a truck. Screw that! You're feeling either great, or amazing, or awesome. That is it, nothing else. Everything else is unacceptable. That's all you can let yourself feel. It's up to you how you feel. So your answer should be I'm awesome. Even though your legs are on fire, you can't feel your arms. You should be glad your legs are on fire, you can't feel your arms. Be grateful that you have that feeling. It feels freaking awesome! Get up for the one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it rolling. That's funny, every time we go to the bear call round, about the live number of viewers goes down. That's amazing. Every time we get to the bear call round, maybe it's because my ass crack is on the camera. Maybe that's what it is. Or it's just hard. So you're on a one, two, three, four, five, six. Bear crawl out. I need you to keep moving. I need you to keep rolling. Just straight left, straight right, left hook, right hook, left upper, right upper, and time. All right, we're sticking with our six punch combos. We are going the reverse of that one, three, five, six, with a six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to do high knee lateral shuffle. So that means you're high knee in it, away from the bag, back into the bag, hit the full combo the next time. High knee it the other direction out and back in. Let's see it, Tyson. So you high knee it out. High knee back in. His combo is a six, five, four, three, two, one. He's gonna face the other direction. High knee it out. High knee it back in. Oh yeah. Get in your stance. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We are banging. We're rolling and then we are banging. So the combo again, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pump those knees. Six, five, four, three, two, one. High knee the other way. Those legs up there, get those abs tight. Pump it out, push yourself. Get twist, get in the stance. High knee out. Pump it back in, land your feet, and boom, 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 boom. Six is your right uppercut, five is your left uppercut, four is your right hook, three is your left hook, two is your straight right, one is your straight left. Let's see it, keep rolling, and then high knee out there. High knee, lateral shuffle right, then high knee, lateral shuffle left. Twist and bang. Six, five, four, three, two, one. High knee out. Keep rolling. Keep pumping those legs. Oh yeah, give us hands up if you can. Those thighs parallel to the floor. Boom, 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 boom. Time. All right, we're gonna stick with that six, five, four, three, two, one. Except we're gonna get away from the bag and to the bag with a backwards 
and forwards. Frog jump. We're going to completely fry those legs out to burn things out to finish off. So we know our combo is the same. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to hit a frog jump backwards. Right into a frog jump forward. So I'm doing these frog jumps. Look at my chest. Lift it up. Straight down. Get into stance. That last hop. Hop into stance. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll. Tyson, show them how to do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. He's gonna frog jump backwards. Head up, chest out, bring your fingertips to the floor on that frog jump. Bring your fingertips down to the floor on the frog jump. Yes, yeah, so you know you're dipping straight down to the floor. Perfect, there it is. Look at his head. Look at his spine, totally straight. Head up, chest out, shoulders are back and down. Sitting back on the hips and heels. Look at that technique. That is a perfect angle of the spine that you want. Chest out. Right away forward. Get into stance. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Frog jump out. Oh yeah, pumping those quads. Pumping those glutes. Keep bouncing. Stand. Pump it out. Pumping it out. Oh yeah. And six, five, four, three, two, one. Pumping it. Those legs should be on fire. Should be fried. Should be feeling awesome. Again, this six. Right uppercut. Five. Left uppercut. Four. Right hook, three, left hook, two, straight right, one, straight left. So it's a six, five, four, three, two, one. Frog jump back. Frog jump forward. Get to stance. Right away. Those legs get zero time to recover. Oh yeah. Burning. Couple more times, finishing off. Two more times. Two more times. This is it. Jump it out. Bounce it. And time. We are done. Right away. Those quads should be on fire. How are your quads feeling? They on fire? Yeah, we're awesome, right? So let's get on our side, lay on your side, on the floor, to stretch those quads out. We're gonna hold it about 30 seconds. Oh yeah. Not in. Hold it for 30 seconds. Oh yeah! Hold that stretch while I'm talking to you. Stretch it. I'm going to start to stand up. You stand on your side. Still holding that right side. Just the way Tyson's doing down there. Listen, you can see. You don't need any space. You don't need any equipment to get a crazy, ridiculous workout. You just need the effort, the attitude. What I just mentioned earlier. That is all. You just need to be resourceful. When you don't have the resources, you need to be resourceful. You've heard it before. This is what you need to do. You need to stop making excuses about the reason why you can't do everything. Like you're freaking Tupac and it's just you against the world. Enough of that already. Enough of that shit. Everyone is dealing with the same thing. You're not unique to this situation. We're all dealing with it. And you should be grateful. There's so many people dealing with much worse than you. I know you don't want to hear that because that doesn't help your situation. But you need to have that type of mindset, that type of perspective when shit's not going your way. Flip over and set that other side. Stretch that left side. Hold that stretch. So it's all about your approach in these situations. How do you view it? You have so much time in your hands. You've been saying for years, oh, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. You have so much time now to learn a new skill, to study. To, you can educate yourself on anything you want in the world nowadays with either just studying it, reading a book, listening to books. Online, you can just buy some online courses, whatever you do, there's so much time that you have now to absorb. Use this time to absorb, to plant the seeds 
for the future, for what you're going to be working on next. That's the way you need to be thinking about this. That's why you need to approach this situation. Not just sitting with that sit and wait approach and waiting for it to pass by. And I hear it every day and it makes me, it gets me a knot in my stomach. It makes me sick to my stomach when people say, oh, I'm just going to wait it out. I'm not going to start working out. I'm not going to start exercising. I'm going to stop exercising. I'm just going to wait it out. See how this thing plays out. Well, you might be sitting out and waiting it out for several months is what you might be doing. Even if it's just several weeks, you can't just sit and wait and see. You got to get up, get off your ass, take some freaking action, make things happen. Stop with the sit and wait approach. You got me battling. Come up and stretch your glutes. So you're going to lay on your back and cross one leg over the other. Right here. Just stretch your glutes out. Cross your leg over your right leg over your left. And just pull your left leg back. You can push your right knee forward just to stretch that glute and hip out. So where were we? Back with that, that sit and wait approach. Stop just sitting around and waiting to see what's going to happen. You need to make things happen. You need to make the most of every situation. Because you need to realize this is your new reality. Once the world gets back to whatever you think normal is going to be, you think you're going to wait till things get back to normal, things are never going to be back to normal. After every situation, things are never normal. There's a new norm. And you have to get used to it and start getting ready and preparing for it now. You sit and wait. Guess what? When it comes time to get back to that normal, you're going to have a new disaster and a new catastrophe on your hands because you're not ready for that new normal because you sat and wait and didn't take the steps now. You need now to use this time to learn, to upgrade your skills, upgrade your education, upgrade your body, your health, your fitness, your nutrition, your freaking mindset, your positivity. The, the negative shit that's on the internet and, and that I see out there is disgusting. I'm different community groups and all this crap and garbage that people complain and talk about. Get that shit out of your life. Get it out of your system. Ignore, dump it. Delete it. Remove it. It's getting you nowhere. It's not serving you. It's not serving your family. You need to step up as a role model of your freaking world where people are looking at you saying that person's got their shit together. That person's got control of their actions, got the control of their future, their destiny, has control of their emotions, has control of their family. I need to be around that person. I need to follow that person. That's what you need to do. Step up as the leader of your world right now. And I demand it of you because it's needed. Or else you're going to be dealing with another disaster after disaster because nothing is getting back to normal. The new normal is going to be totally different. If you're not prepared and ready for anything, you're going to be crushed by everything. So if you have any questions, comments, just put them down below. We are done here. I'm dripping sweat. I hope you're dripping sweat. I hope you realize all it takes is effort and attitude to get a crazy workout to make things happen in all areas of your life, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter how bad things are getting. You can always flip that shit and flip the script and make the most of it and create opportunities out of it and use it as an excuse to do more instead of an excuse to do less. So I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. Tyson, anything you want to tell him? Very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.